Hello, I'm going to show you how the Lenny Lamb Preschooler Carrier works. It's a really awesome carrier. It lasts for ages. So usually you could try using it from by the time your baby's like one, 18 months old. It grows from toddler to preschooler. Um, always was trying before you buy it because you can't be sure that your small baby's gonna fit in it. So. It's worth trying it first or checking the lower weight limit. So first you're gonna adapt the base. So here, kind of roughly tells you the ages. So we've got one and a half to plus four years. So I'm gonna try with my small toddler demo doll, which is about, I don't know, 14 months, something like that. So I'm gonna put it on a smaller setting and see how that fits like that so the base is completely adaptable grows with your baby it's made uh, from a woven wrap so it's cut from a Lenny Lang woven wrap so it's really soft but also lightweight there's no structure across the back panel so it's really lovely the straps are very padded so lots of cushioning and obviously you can adjust the front panel so you can make it short or long so that it grows with your with your toddler and preschooler um, and you've got various adjustments on the straps as well so that you can make them like close to you or you can loosen it so you can feed in it because yes it's great to keep feeding <laughs> toddlers and preschoolers don't stop <laughs> it's got a nice hood in it as well so you can have the strap uh, straight or you can have them crossed so you decide how you wear it you can front you can hip and you can back carry with it it's got dual adjust uh, straps which means that either you feed the webbing towards the back and you can pull like that to tighten, or you can feed them to the front, and you can tighten like that, or have in between. You set it the way you want to, way it was more, most comfortable for you. All right, so, I put my waist belt on, and I'm gonna go clip. I've got a nice little, little lower back support pad here, so it gives me some extra support around my back. Bring your clip, through the elastic band, I'm going to clip, and then we're going to be tightened. Go to my back and grab my strap and give it a little pull. There you go. Okay, it's nice, comfy on my back. And then I'm just going to do t shirt method. There's lots of different ways to put your baby in. Just go with what works for you. So for front carry, I'm going to bring my baby in like this on my front and I like to just bring my chest strap which is already clipped into my shoulder straps over my head so I don't have to do any clipping and I'm just going to wiggle my baby down like this let my baby sit into like a nice deep seat over the waist belt so it's nice and comfortable but also it means that as you toddler and preschooler grows you still have your visibility so if you have your baby very high up your vision is going to be compromised so let them sit nice nice and deep like that it's very soft woven wrap fabric so there's lots of it's very malleable so you can just fit it like this okay and uh, i'm going to tighten so i'm going to grab my straps so i like to feed over like this Grab the slack and pull forward so it sits much more nicely on my shoulders. I'm gonna lift like this and grab my slack. That's it, until I feel it's nice and comfortable. Panel, maybe a little bit still tall. So to make it smaller, I'm just gonna pull down like that. Like this, and then this strap will help either loosen so you can drop down, feed your baby. Or if you're a much taller person than I am, <laughs> you can have more of the padding around your shoulder. So you can choose how you set it. So I'm just going to have it on the lower setting, I think, because that feels more comfortable for me. There you go, have your chest trap between your shoulder blades, so maybe a bit lower than what I have it on. Really nice and comfortable. I'm going to show you how to cross the straps now. So I'm going to loosen, or I can just unclip. I'm going to loosen by lifting like this and grab my chest strap and then clip. Always hold your baby when you do that. I can very easily take my baby out. 
like this and if I want to cross the straps I just need to uh, unclip them so I'm just gonna take them out like that and then here I will need to really really loosen them so I'm going to leave a little bit here but loosen towards the back like this same on the other side we take it out and loosen them Zoop, like that so you don't need to worry about the chest strap anymore. I'm gonna bring baby back onto my front and let my baby sit nice and deep into the seat like this. And grab the strap, flip over my shoulder, hold my baby, go to my back, grab that strap, pull down, pull way, way down, slide it across your bum because this way it stops the strap going straight into your boob especially if you're breastfeeding mom can be a bit uncomfortable bring it through the elastic band for safety and then we can really try ways to do this because if something happens and this clip fails the little elastic band will keep it in place i'm going to pull back a bit just tighten keep it safe and then do the same over my back slide it clip the elastic band if you find this process stressful going through the elastic band you can just pre-clip everything with strap crossed loosen and just slide your baby in okay so you can do that and here i'm going to go in my slack and i'm going to be tighten here by pulling back okay you can probably try to go here and pull like that as well it will very much depend on your dexterity and how you're feeling and your mobility okay so either feed your webbing here and pull backwards or like leave a bit to the back and pull forward like this okay just do what makes you feel comfortable and what your body can allow you to do and there you go so there is the front carry for other back carry videos you can go to my youtube channel and check the one that i do about general back carrying because it's always the same but that's the setup it's really comfortable i've put my three old in it it was very nice we went for a walk uh, I'm going to try it with my six-year-old as well to see if that works. <laughs> and that's it. So take your baby out. You can just unclip or you can loosen or you can just take one strap out like that and get your baby out or take your second strap out if you don't want to unclip the whole thing. Lift your baby out and you're good to go. There you go. Thank you for watching.